We have successfully made it to the second trimester. I am 13 weeks and five days today, and I wanted to start my vlog here for my second trimester vlog where nothing is really happening right now. I think in pregnancy where it just kind of slows down and you know, I look up to heaven and I'm like, thank you Lord for just kind of slowing this down a little bit, letting me enjoy it and just letting me feel mildly normal again. <laughs> so at the beginning of my second trimester, this is exactly how I'm feeling. I have no more nausea. I have no more extreme tiredness. I do get tired like here and there, but it's nothing where I need to nap during the day or sleep in heavily. Every day I wake up at about 6, 6.15, and during that time I do a workout, my devos, and drink a lot of water. What else, what else, what else? My belly is getting big. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. 13 week, five day, whoa, it's right over there, stay over here. Belly, I'm definitely feeling pointier through here a little more rounded, I can feel my uterus so intensely. Like, hey uterus, what's up? I feel cute, I look pregnant most of the time. Kinda loving that. Bring you guys back up. On that note, I have ordered maternity clothing. I'll show you some of the maternity pieces in this video because of course it is a part of my second trimester like experience and journey. I had to get off camera because I had to pee and poop so bad. This hits me out of nowhere all of a sudden and I'm like, Wow, I have to go to the bathroom. Like, I used to know about the time it would happen. Nowadays, mm mm. So, even amidst my like slow pregnancy, you know, like things were just kind of calm, that I have to deal with, but I still feel like my pregnancy is quite calm. And in other news, over just the past couple of days, I have been feeling fluttering. Fluttering is kind of that pre movement that you feel before baby like really starts kicking. It's the feeling of butterflies fluttering in your stomach. Because this is baby number four, this is definitely the earliest I've ever felt that, but it being my fourth pregnancy, it's nostalgic. I recognize this and I know it's not like gas or anything else. It is full on baby fluttering. So that is stupid cute and just really fun. Like we're starting off my second trimester feeling really strong, really relaxed and excited to get into some maternity clothes. I am so thrilled to have some nice maternity pieces for my pregnancy. These ones are by Boob Design. I also thrifted a bunch as well. If you wanna see either of these videos, I can link them down below and you can check them out. We did good. We feel good. And there's nothing like having nice maternity clothes to wear throughout your pregnancy. Yo, it's still snowing. Now I can see a hole. I saw a hole. This is my fairy I got for my birthday. Cause I then Ellie loves it. See? I love that. I see you through this glass. I see you through my glass. Okay, let's put that book back on the. Here, please. Ivy, can you move your chair? And out of breath again. I am 15, one, two, three days pregnant and a couple things to update you guys on. First thing, we're gonna go upstairs so I can show you because I'm really excited. And actually, I've drank in three of these glasses totally full in the past five minutes. I'm thirsty all the time and I'm thankful for that because that means we're being hydrated. Okay, let's go upstairs. Come with me. All the kids are coming. This is nice. Also, I've been very cold recently. That might be pregnancy. It also might be because it's winter here in Canada and it's cold and snowy. I've been wearing puffer jackets around the house recently. That's just how it's been. Now, for you guys to see, I have to take a breath out. Is the most important thing in my life right now, other than Jesus. This is the BB Hug Me, which is a pregnancy pillow. Usually yeah, I've had pregnancy yeah, pillows that are yeah. more, it's one sided. I'll show you, check this out. I will take this off now, cause now I'm sweating. That's another thing. Really cold one minute, really sweaty the other. Let's pull our hair up. Whoa, it's really snowing. So the reason I want to get a new body pillow is because I don't even know where my other one is right now because I've given it to so many people to use in their pregnancies. Also, cause I am pregnant through the summer, like babies do in August. I wanted something way cooler. So this isn't filled with like feathers or fluff. It's like those little micro bead pellets. Here, let me, let me put you guys down so you can actually see. It's comfy, it's cool, it's 
amazing. By the time this video is up, I have another video and it is things that I am not using in my pregnancy and then a few things that I am. I can link that video down below, but I mentioned this pillow. It's seriously the best. Highly recommend. Now, granted, I did drink a bunch of water, <laughs> but if I flex, I still have some, some definition, just a little bit. A little bit of abs, let myself relax. Here we are. A little bit bigger of a belly than usual. Again, I just drank a ton of water. Hoping baby is happy. I have not yet had a midwife appointment in person. Praying over baby. I'm sure everything is totally fine. I'm growing and, and I feel and obviously look pregnant. And wow, we have bust our buttons. <laughs> I'm definitely less pointy through this area and we're starting to round out Ooh, my belly a little bit my more. Belly. Ivy's belly versus my belly. My belly. Look at these bellies. Look at my belly. Calvin's belly. I'm going to talk to my muchachos. These. This is the everyday legging. They're ethical and sustainable. I got a little like bit of room up here, which is good. I also, honestly, I've just kind of been folding them underneath my belly. Feels like it gives some support. These are thick in the sense that they're not see-through, but they're not like overly thick and heavy. Secondly, my skin is starting to clear up. I don't know what's happening through this entire pregnancy heavily in the first trimester and then even into the second trimester, my skin has been just like, ugh, just weird. Lots of hormonal acne. And just the past week and a half, my skin has been doing really well. This area has been healing quite nicely and my scars are still there, but they're not bumps. So it's been really nice. Lastly, I finally did have my midwife appointment and I said this in a previous vlog, but I was thinking through my last ultrasound and I was like, hold on, wait. I didn't actually hear the heartbeat. He showed me like the echocardiogram or whatever of the heartbeat. He told me it was 177, but I didn't actually hear it, which my midwife said that was just like a lazy ultrasound tech. So I did have my midwife appointment and I was able to hear baby's heartbeat, which was like really, really cool and so fun. At my midwife appointment, we just went over a few things such as like my home birth, how I'm doing, blood work results, and like everything came back cool and normal. And that's pretty much it. I am having some pelvic pain, but I'll talk about that maybe in a couple weeks from now because I have booked myself in to see a pelvic floor specialist, especially with this being my fourth baby, especially with this being my fourth baby with a pelvic separation, and especially because I would like to have possibly more after this. I just want to be in a really good spot. Anyway, guys, happy 18 weeks. I'll see you sometime in a little bit. Belly bump. ultrasound with these kids and then with this baby it just it feels exciting reassuring I've never had issues come up during an ultrasound so I've never really missed that feeling of just excitement from an ultrasound I know there's hold on I've had many friends who have had ultrasounds and they've gone negatively or not the way they thought they would and it just kind of ruins all the ultrasounds from there on. Sometimes it does, not always, but I'm thankful that I had a good ultrasound just praising the Lord for a healthy baby and a healthy me. So, I'll show you the picture. Okay, so we got baby's profile. And I know people are always freaked out from these, but I think they're amazing. This is baby skull, amazing. If you celebrate Halloween or like you decorate with skulls and find baby skulls, like 
kind of freaky, I don't understand you. I think they're so cool. And then we got another spine shot and at the very end is a little bum. I, as per my other children, have decided not to do the gender, like find out the gender. I love the surprise. I love not knowing. It's been so exciting for everyone and I'm really excited for this one. So the ultrasound tech is like super good at making sure I don't see anything, they don't show anything. And I decided to ask, I was like, okay, seriously, like how many people want to know what they're having? And she said, easy, 80%. She said, ever since like gender reveals became like really big, she's like 80% for sure. And I, I just, I love the surprise. And I'm not saying anything against people who find out. I just personally love the surprise. 21 weeks on Monday. So I'm 20 weeks and five days today. Not next week, but the week after, I have a pelvic floor specialist appointment because I have symphysis pubic dysfunction, but we need to find out how big it is and if it's chafing. And I'll tell you more about that later. Exercising is hard, walking is hard, stairs is hard. I'm just finding a lot of things are hard. So I'm trying to find out exactly what kind of pelvic separation I have. I can relay that to my chiropractor and she can figure out how to properly kind of work with that as well. I also don't want this to be my last baby. So I wanna really just be proactive in this pregnancy so I can have another one without like huge complications. Everything is good, I'm good, baby's good. And I'm just excited to figure out what's going on with my pelvis. Last time we talked, I was freshly out of my ultra, <laughs> they are so loud. They're running around like crazy. I was freshly out of my ultrasound, talked about my pelvic floor specialist appointment. I went, guys, well, okay, firstly, let's talk about the elephant in the room, my hair is growing. Can we remember how long or short my hair was at the beginning of this pregnancy? Let's just plunk that in right there and then look at where I am now. My hair is so long. So that's fantastic. My hair always grows at excessive speeds in pregnancy and when I'm not pregnant, it's quite slow. So it just turns out every single time I've ever wanted to grow up my hair, I'm usually pregnant. So that's extremely convenient. And I'm already sad about all the postpartum hair loss I'm going to achieve. I went to my pelvic floor specialist. I've already talked about this on my channel, but if you're new and this is my second trimester vlog, here it is for you. I had a little bit of pubic bone separation. My abdominals could be more supportive to my belly. And I had very tight inward vaginal muscles, very tight inward thigh muscles, and they were creating a tug of war and it was just causing my pubic bone to separate. And there was a lot of pain because my belly wasn't holding my womb up as much as it could have been. It's literally been like two weeks since I've been. From my workouts, my stretches, and the work that my pelvic floor specialist has done on me, I literally went from like an eight out of 10 on a normal day when it comes to like a pain scale to now like three being my most painful day. I'm absolutely amazed. I feel like I'm so comfortable in this pregnancy. Like I can like move around I don't wanna move around too excessively. I can get up on the bed. I'm obviously not pushing myself or trying things that I shouldn't be trying. I'm still being very careful, but I feel more normal again, you guys. I hugely recommend seeing a pelvic floor specialist. I'll link my video down below where I kind of share about her, about my experience and the workouts and the stretches and a few other things like my chiropractor. Pretty much my video showing you guys how I went from a lot of pain to almost no pain at all. So that is where I'm at. So because I had a successful ultrasound, baby is still doing well. I also had another midwife appointment, baby is doing well. I decided to actually slowly start getting some baby items, such as some swaddles. Let me show you. Oh, they're in the other room. Be right back. I am also getting a Halo bassinet. I would like to get a new stroller, but still from Phil and Ted's because I really like their strollers and I need a new baby carrier. But from Harper and Olive, which is an online store, I got some gender neutral swaddles, like muslin swaddles. I don't know if this is a boy or a girl. I'm leaning towards boy, but I don't really know. And since baby will be born in the summertime, this is a zero to three month 
probably should have bought newborn but this is a onesie like these are little leg holes and then this is a little more boyish but a girl could totally wear this and this is for a newborn which I still feel like is kind of really big I know you can forget how small babies are but I just always remember clothes still being too big for all my babies my babies wore premature clothing for the first little bit they were really really small like six pounder 17 18 inches long very small there is that thankful my pelvis is doing better I feel like my abs are just supporting my belly more so many good things <laughs> Like I haven't been filming a lot for my second trimester because honestly I feel like the second trimester is very much like I don't want to say a dull period but the first trimester it's like sickness and finding out you're just pregnant and like getting all your ducks in a row the third trimester you're getting contractions baby's gonna start coming soon you're preparing for that but then the second trimester it's a little bit more dull but I am 26 weeks and one two three days pregnant I'm getting close to my third trimester and I am now starting to feel things. So previously I talked to you guys about my pelvic pain. My pelvic pain is still like just not there. I told you guys that I was seeing my pelvic floor specialist. I used to be easy an eight or nine out of 10 on a pain scale every single day. And now my worst days, I would say I'm at like a two or a three. I did a video about this, but engaging my abdominals, really just strengthening my core and pulling baby up off of my pelvis has been extremely, extremely helpful. So check this out. And that is the basis of my workouts right now. Pulling up, it's not sucking my stomach in and kicking it back out. It's engaging my abdominals and pulling up belly button towards the spine. I'm feeling like a new woman. I've also, and I'm just getting this. Perfect timing. Ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. A couple days ago, I was having some pain through my liver and also experiencing migraines and nausea. I thought it was some early preeclampsia and I went to the midwife. She said it actually looks like I have either gallbladder stones or just an issue with my gallbladder or during that time, my gallbladder was releasing them or breaking them down. <sighs> it's starting to go away. It was so painful but since like I had like two really hard days since then it's become much less and then seeing my pelvic floor specialist she actually helped to like adjust my ribs which helped with some nerve stuff and took pressure off of this area which is where your liver and your gallbladder sits and then it also looked like it was kind of just like a lung nerve issue as well in that area so in this whole place was in so much pain but today oh hold on okay it's going away it's feeling so much better and you may be looking at me being like you don't look okay i actually i'm like totally fine it's gonna get better as time goes on. I know that, <sighs> but it's starting to subside. This feels good. So either I still have gallbladder stones or they're just working their way to just going away. Maybe have surgery after baby, who knows? But that's been kind of like my latest development there. It is getting better. It, look, it may look like it's getting worse, but it is getting better. I'm gonna update you guys. We're gonna end this second trimester vlog in our next video clip. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about weight gain, where I'm at for that, and kind of how I'm feeling about that. So I'll talk to you then. I guess I'm at the point where I, I wear the same three outfits all the time because I looked back on my footage and I was wearing <laughs> this exact same outfit in my previous clip. I am wearing also my Belly's Ink Belly Band. I can link it down below. It is so comfy just on those days where 
Uh, we're grocery shopping. I need a little bit of support for my belly so my pelvis doesn't feel really sore. It's a go-to, so I can link it down below and then I am planning on using it after I give birth to kind of wrap up my belly and bring things back together. <sighs> My battery's about to die. This is going really well. My gallbladder kind of whole issue, gone. Totally fine. I've been having no pain with that pretty much the day after I talk to you guys. If you're, <laughs> if you're curious about this, I am in the middle of doing my makeup. Let me change my battery and finish my eyebrows. Just a second. So yes, that whole pain through my right side, completely gone. Very thankful for that because it was such a weird pain. Like I couldn't breathe through it because breathing was painful. I didn't know just how to hugely reduce it. So it's gone, very thankful for that. Over the weekend, <laughs> I decided to do a cartwheel. It was seriously like looking back, it was such a dumb idea. I guess I've just always been capable of doing cartwheels and I was like, yeah, I can do a cartwheel and I did it and I, it it was very, very, very painful. But since my cartwheel episode, my pelvis has been so happy. I don't think it's a quinky dink. Like, I really do think that cartwheel did something because I felt like, like, a slow steady shift and some popping and cracking and at first I was like, I've just ruined everything. And then the next day I was like, wow. I'm feeling fantastic. Every single night I've had these pelvic kind of issues. My pubic bone goes like this and it pops on itself like it's horrible. Since my cartwheel episode, I have had no pelvic popping at all. I don't know what that's about. I don't I don't recommend you to do a cartwheel if you're having pelvic pain. But I mean I would do a cartwheel again. I mean, beyond that, I'm doing okay. I'm sleeping well, I'm eating good. I have my gestational diabetes test that I, I've only ever done that with Ivy, my first. I didn't do it with Calvin or Elizabeth, but this time around, since I'm a little bit older, since my last pregnancy, things could have completely changed in my body. I'm going to do the gestational diabetes test and especially laboring at home. It's just an extra kind of safety precaution that I can do. And let's close up talking about some weight gain. So if you were gonna rate my cartwheel out of 10, what would you rate it? <laughs> no, this isn't baby stuff. These are my new mugs. Through all my pregnancies, I have not been a huge like weight gainer and I don't know why because I eat a lot and I just, I don't understand why I don't gain a lot of weight in my pregnancy. Uh, with all my kids, I gained between like 10 to 13 pounds for my entire pregnancy and all of them. And I really, this time around guys, I really wanted to gain 20 pounds. Like that was my goal and that is my goal. And I know that might sound weird to someone who deals with weight gain, being a more more slender, petite person. I look at weight gain as being such an awesome thing personally for myself, but I, it's very difficult for me to gain weight. In this pregnancy, I'll try to show you guys. In this pregnancy so far, I've gained seven pounds, only seven pounds. I, at this point, I wanted to have at least 10 pounds. So when I gain weight in my pregnancy, it goes to here, obviously to baby and belly, and I gain it kind of in this area. I don't gain anything actually like through my belly. It's just like here and here. And I freaking love these. These are so cute and like kind of sexy to me. It just makes this whole area like kind of curvy and luscious. <sighs> anyway. I have never been able to breastfeed for very long amounts of time. I get so skinny from breastfeeding and I feel like if I gained a little bit more weight, maybe it would be kind of helpful. I don't know, that's probably not even true or good information, but I just, in my heart, I'm like, if I gain a little bit more weight, maybe when I'm breastfeeding, I won't get so ridiculously skinny and I can keep my milk supply a little bit longer and I can breastfeed my kids to like more like a year versus like five months. <sighs> in some way, like I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Like by this time I wanted to be at more like 10 pounds and hopefully gain the rest. Another 10 pounds in my third trimester. But this is how it went with all my other pregnancies. And the thing is, I don't want to gain unhealthy weight. Like I'm not going to go and eat a ton of food at like 
McDonald's, fast food, sugars. Like I wanna eat a lot of good food. I'm eating more than enough calories in a day. I am just someone, it's just harder for me to gain weight. <sighs> It's just a thing and, and it's fine. I just feel like if I gained a little bit more weight then it would just make maybe breastfeeding last longer or I just wouldn't get so skinny when I start breastfeeding because I get like freaky skinny. Like there's a storm rolling in. That's why the sliding is like this. I get freaky skinny. Like my ribs stick out like, anyway. So that's where I'm at. Mentally, I'm totally fine. I have a little bit of disappointment in myself towards my weight gain, but I am so freaking proud of how hard I've worked through the second trimester to strengthen my core, heal my pelvis more, really just carry this baby as best as I can and make myself comfortable. So like, I'm so proud of that. Just in the end, what I really want is a healthy baby. That's what I want. So whether I gain tons of weight or no weight, if I have to have an emergency C-section or I can go for my natural plan, whatever happens, as long as the Lord gives us a healthy, happy baby, like, thank you, Lord. <sighs> Anyway, that is the end. <laughs> I'm so thankful to be here. I'm just thrilled that I feel good and baby's doing good. I feel like the second trimester, nothing much happened, but like bring on the third trimester, dudes. We are going to get things done. I have a ton of stuff that I need to order for myself, for baby. I'm starting from scratch again. I'm getting my blood transfusion kind of shot, which is a Rogam shot for my blood type. I'm gonna have to start creating like my home birth kit. Kit. Some people pack hospital bags, I pack home birth kits, and then early labor. So all that stuff is gonna be happening in my third trimester vlog, which I'm just so excited for. We're in the final stretch, and I'm just, I'm thrilled. So thank you guys for watching. Just kind of dealing with my chit chats and rants. You guys are just really understanding, and I am so thankful for that. So thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>